are you doing? You hitched a ride with us? Coming on this magical mystery tour? Well, we were away for a couple of days. Um, might even be a couple of weeks, we're not sure. We've got a couple of guys looking after the um, house back home. We drove up here yesterday, spent a fabulous night, got here quite late last night. We didn't get away as early as we wanted to yesterday. Fabulous place, so why don't you come and have a look? What a lovely place this is, Barajem Vidor. We're about two hours north of where we live, so we're more or less, if you looked at the map, level with Lisbon now, uh, very close to the Spanish border. It's an absolutely stunning place, and loads of places to park in the pine woods. Really nice. See us tucked in under the trees. We had a beautiful night, very peaceful, very quiet. Just one thing that lets it down that we've noticed. Great shame. If you come to these places, do us a favour. Take your rubbish home. We can't believe how much rubbish is around. Everywhere. Now this pure laziness, people just so lazy to take their rubbish back with them. The other thing we ask you not to do is light fires. Obviously this fire has been um, set here fairly recently and they even left behind their dining plate. And behind me here remains of another fire right next to the base of a tree. In an area like this, it's just total stupidity. Don't do it, you'll make everybody much happier. Come here by all means, it's a gorgeous place, look at it. But don't light fires and take your rubbish home, please, please, please. Hiding under the van again. Where is you, Squeak? Right down the back there. Oh. She's been in the engine compartment. It's all, have we got a black cat now? It looks like it. You're getting brave. Is she enjoying it, Mum? I think she is. She's having a good old explore. She's getting brave. What do you reckon, Squeak? Is this a good place? So just over there we can see the Barajem. It's only a small Barajem. Loads of them in Portugal. They really do do a good job at managing their water. But, uh, it produces uh, wonderful results like this. In a small lake, but absolutely gorgeous. There we can see the wood, lovely wooded area we parked under. Lots and lots of shade. Temperature's going to get up to about <clears throat> 35 degrees today, 35, 36 degrees. Not a lot of wind up here either, so it gets hot. A monument to uh, local people who served in Portuguese forces in their various uh, wars in the 20th century. So, from here, we're heading north, and we're going to try and uh, do another lunch stop about two hours, two hours north of here. Uh, taking it fairly easy. Uh, ultimate goal? No. It's like the, we always used to say on the boat, you know, oh, it's nice not to have a plan and stick to it. And I think that's basically what we're doing now. Um, Suck it and see. Yeah, we're just going to see. We, we sort of, um, it's going to get a bit hot here next week in Portugal, where, where we live, uh, temperature of a forecast of 42, 43 degrees centigrade. While we can, let's head north and um, possibly go through Spain, try and get up possibly into the P Pyrenees. Uh, we might even go further than that because we've got some friends in France that we haven't seen for about three years uh, when we met them out in uh, Sardinic. Uh, five, uh, five years. Oh, five years, doesn't time fly? So we might get across and see them. Um, we're obviously going castle hunting, I mean, boiling oil castles all over the place here, and uh, they're really stunning. Well, we're just about to pack up and uh, get going, so uh, 
we'll try and get some video along the way and um, yeah you're welcome to join us keep watching don't forget um, subscribe click the notification bell and drop a comment in the comments below really does help us That was a great little lunch. Um, not a bad place. The shade is a bit sparse, not as good as where we were, and it's a bit uneven. There is a proper motorhome here, and, and an air is a, a place that's uh, provided by the local council or camera, as it's called here, for people to come with their motorhomes and park up. And they've done a sterling job, made a lovely place. Lots of uh, dedicated parking areas, flat all paved over and they put a service point in. Service point is what you need where you want to uh, empty all your tanks and fill up with fresh water. It's all shut. Not only is it all shut, it is in a diabolical state and I'm probably going to be putting some b-roll over this so you can see exactly what it's like. Shame on the council. Big placards all over the place showing how much money has been invested to build this thing. Most of it, obviously, European money. In Portugal, there's been a 400% increase this year in motorhome rental bookings. Why? They're ideal, aren't they? You are completely self-contained. You can self-isolate to your heart's content. Don't have to mix with people. You've got all your facilities with you. Yes, they are expensive, but for a family, it's not that bad out here in Portugal. It's something like 100, 100 euros a day when we looked. Something like that. That sounds a lot of money, 100 euros a day. It is, but when you think, you know, you've got a family of four or five, family of six, some of the motorhomes take six people, you can have a fantastic few days away for not a lot of money for a big family. So, absolutely ideal. And this place is cracking to bring kids. They, you know, there's places they can play. There's a little football kick around area into the water. It would be fantastic. And I have to say now with Corona on, all the places you're gonna visit, their public toilets are still closed. So travelling around with your own toilet with kids, first class idea. But you need the facilities to be open and clean and working. For a council not to have got that sorted out, we all knew that 1st of July they were going to drop the borders down. We've been able to travel in Portugal now for well over a month. They need to get their act together. They're all moaning because, oh, we can't, you know, our tourism industry's down, we're, we're in dire financial trouble. But to be quite honest, if you leave it like that, you deserve to be in financial trouble. We're going to send a copy of this to the local council and we'll be saying to them, you get your act together. We're coming back in a month's time to have a look at this. If it's not done and sorted out and put in a presentable way and a healthy and hygienic way, because, you know, make no mistake about it, 
if you've got a sewage area overflowing into a car park, forget COVID-19, it doesn't bear thinking about. Cholera, dysentery, all of those really nasty diseases that kill, don't matter how whether you're young, old or what, they kill. And the other thing I'll say, because I'm on a little rant about this, Portuguese people, and it's got to be the Portuguese people that are doing it, take your bloody rubbish home with you. Our first trip out, we came across a you know, couple of areas and they were absolutely filthy rubbish. All fresh that people had just turned up in their cars, literally had their picnic, threw it all away. It's disgusting. Thanks very much for watching this video. This is the first in our series of our motorhome travels video, featuring, of course, Squeak, 
Don't forget to like and subscribe and also hit that notification bell. That'll give you a notification of the next video in the series as soon as we launch it. In the next video, we'll be taking you into the Rioja region of Spain and you can catch up with our exciting adventures there. See you soon. Bye.